Ryan Callahan played 13 NHL seasons with the Rangers and the Lightning, including a few years as the Rangers captain. He was a great leader on and off the ice for both franchises, put up a ton of points in the NHL, along with representing Team USA in the Olympics and also in other international competitions. We are so happy to have Ryan with us here on NHL tonight. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's happy been, to be here. Yeah, it's been fun to have you on throughout the show, but we wanted to take some time to really dive into what's next for you because normally this time of year you would be in the gym, on the ice, getting ready for training camp and the season to come. Now it's different. You're on long-term IR. So what does the immediate future hold for you? That's uh, yet to be seen, I guess. Uh, definitely a little bit different today. Training camp opens today. I'm uh, putting a suit on, that's my gym clothes, and going in and doing testing. So um, it's starting to hit home now that the season's getting close, that I'm not playing anymore, and uh, it's getting harder. During the summer, it was easier because my summer is usually off anyway. So um, stay busy, try to find some things that I like to do, and uh, enjoy the family. Now, I know you had a pretty debilitating back issue that's really the reason for all of this. When did that start, and what is your injury, per se? I have degenerative uh, disc disease is what it's called. Um, basically, my discs are compressing, and in between my discs, um, I'm losing the gel there. Uh, it's been a couple of years. I've, I've kind of felt it, but this year kind of hit the, the climax of it where, um, you know, I was going into games feeling fine. I'd, I'd move a little wrong and have to come out of the game. I'd wake up and... Uh, you know, wouldn't be able to go in the game that night for, for no reason, not knowing it going into games. So uh, this year was tough on me, but uh, tried to battle through it. And then unfortunately, at the end of the year, I was hoping that I was able to get my back fixed. Um, yeah. And going to see a couple specialists, uh, there was no immediate fix for it. And, and all of them uh, suggested that I stop playing. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm very blessed for the career I had. Uh, I'm very lucky to be able to do what I did for 13 years. And, and now it's the next chapter. Uh, mm -hmm. Enjoy my family a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it must be pretty difficult, though, again, like you said, with training camps ramping up to swallow the pill, the idea that hockey, at least that chapter of hockey for you, is over. How tough is that? It's very hard. Um, you know, I, I think it's hitting me, you know, more and more as, as we're getting closer to camp. Once a game starts, um, you know, being living in the Tampa area, I see everything, all the billboards up, everybody's ready for the season to start, the excitement. Um, so it, it's hard. It's going to be, I think there'll be some ups and downs throughout the year, but um, luckily, I got a good support system at home, and uh, we'll stay busy and, and keep going. You mentioned the Lightning and your time there. There were so many highlights, including this one right here with your incredible reaction. What was this season like for you, being a healthy scratch, not fully being able to, to be at 100%? It was a tough year for me. Um, you know, mentally, I think it was really hard. Uh, first time in my career that I've actually kind of been a healthy scratch other than maybe my rookie year. Um, being in and out of the lineup, not being able to contribute, um, getting scratched for the first two games of the playoffs, I think was probably the hardest pill for me to swallow. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I try to stay positive in the room, positive with the guys. Uh, I didn't want to be a distraction uh, negatively. So, uh, you know, that's what I was trying to focus on and, and make sure I was ready when I did get those opportunities to go back in the game. Yeah, that was a great goal. And again, the, the reaction speaks for itself as to how much that meant for you. What will you miss most about not playing? I think the guys, uh, being around the guys, um, you know, in the room, joking around with the guys on the road, uh, you know, that's what you miss the most. Obviously, on the ice stuff, you'll miss, but I think the camaraderie of, of, of being, having 22, 23 best friends uh, mm -hmm. for nine months out of the year is going to be the hardest adjustment for me, but, um, you know, I'll miss going to battle, too, um, you know, and, and playing the game. It's... Uh, it's the only thing I've done since I was three years old, so hmm. so now I have to try to figure out something else. What won't you miss at all? <laughs> uh, blocking shots, injuries. Um, you know, I've had some some bad injuries over my career, and uh, that's one thing that uh, I'm definitely not going to miss. When you think back to your time with the Rangers, I'm sure it feels like a lifetime ago with all that you've been through throughout your career. But what stands out? Um, it's kind of where I grew up. Um, you know, being the captain there was such a special moment for me, uh, such a privilege and honor. Um, that's that's always uh, will be near and dear to my heart, New York mm -hmm. City. Um, you know, playing at MSG, I mean, watching this score my first goal. Um, you know, it, that does seem like yesterday that happened. It goes by so fast, but uh, I just love my time there. The way the fans embraced me there uh, is such a great organization. So that's uh, that's a special time in my career for sure. And now you mentioned your family a little bit. Tell us more about that. What does life as Ryan Callahan, the husband and the father, look like? It's fun. Um, we got three little ones at home, a seven-year-old, a five-year-old, uh, soon to be two-year-old, so we're, we're in the thick of it. It's busy. Um, I'm like taxi right now, taking the kids to school, bringing them <laughs> home, uh, activities, but 
it's a lot of things that I didn't get to do when I was playing, you know, with the road trips and you get home late, things like that. It, it's hard to be at everything. So I'm excited just to be there and, and enjoy the year with them. Do you have any plans to get back into hockey on some other level besides being a player on the ice? Yeah, I'd love to get back into it. I mean, that's that's what I've known, um, you know, whether that's with an organization uh, on the camera side of it, whatever it may be. But, um, yeah, I definitely want to stay in the game. It's what I love and what I know. Well, hopefully it's here at NHL Network on there NHL tonight. <laughs> uh, also, just have you been on the ice this summer at all, or do you just want to stay away, like crack a, a cold drink or two and some chips? What have you been doing? Yeah, no, uh, I haven't strapped the, the laces up at all. I mean, uh, my equipment's still at the, the room in Tampa right now. Wow. Um, I talked to the trainer the other day. I said, please don't put it out by the dumpster. I still might need it, oh. you know, but uh, no, it's all good. I, I enjoyed my summer. I golfed a ton. Um, Tried to get into the gym once in a while, but uh, I, I golfed a lot and, and enjoyed myself. I can see where you might be tempted to just say, I don't, I don't want to go to the gym once. I don't want to get on the ice once. I just need a minute. Yeah, there's plenty <laughs> of times that I, if I went to the gym and, and walked in and kind of did a little bit of a U-turn and walked on nice. and said, you know what? I don't need to do this really not anymore. Today. So not today, but yeah. uh, it, it's been good. That's awesome. Well, Ryan, thanks so much for the conversation, and we're happy to have you here on NHL tonight. Yeah, thanks for having me.